Hey everybody, uh, this is uh, Steve at TechnSpeak here uh, today to talk to you about uh, alarms. Um, if you got a alarm panel installed by TechnSpeak, uh, you're going to see a keypad that looks like this. Uh, this is a DSC keypad uh, tied to a DSC alarm panel uh, in the uh, Power Series line, which is our most frequent wired panel uh, that we're going to put in for you. There's some wireless options for it as well. But uh, anyway, it integrates really well with all of our other automation stuff. And it sits on its own as a great uh, standalone security system as well. So uh, we like it. Uh, in any case, today I'm just going to go over a kind of a brief overview about how, how to arm and disarm your system and what to expect when doing so. Um, so here you have it. Here is our uh, most frequent keypad that we install. This is the RFK 5500. Um, first thing you'll see is there's no keys, so how do you arm and disarm it? Well, we have this nice little flap uh, that flaps down like this, and then you can type away whatever you need to do, and then put it back up uh, when you're done. So we're going to take this back down, and we're going to notice down here we have a little cheat sheet. Uh, as far as what all these keys are doing on here, um, it's listed from the left and arrow keys on the far left all the way to the um, status lights on the far right. So if you ever uh, don't have access to this video, you can just look at this cheat sheet down here and I'll tell you what these buttons mean. So uh, what I'm going to tell you right now is uh, this is the steady state of the alarm panel. You're going to see uh, the date, the time, uh, and if all of your zones are closed, you're going to see a little green check mark like this. If you read down here, green check mark means the system is ready uh, and so you're uh, good to go. The system must be in this state in order for you to arm your panel. If for some reason it says a zone is uh, open, uh, and let me show you this by opening a zone really quick. So right now I can't arm this panel because this green little check mark went away. So if I try and arm it, it's going to tell me that the system's failed to arm. And it says secure system before arming. I'm going to go to, it says scroll to view open zones. I'm going to go there and I found out my front door is open. Okay, well that means I can't arm the system. So uh, let me go fix that and we'll take you through the arming sequence. So that was a little audio indicator to let me know that uh, my uh, front door was closed and I got my green check mark back. So now my system is ready to be armed. So I'm going to hit my code. Uh, I'm going to use the default code because this panel hasn't been programmed yet. Uh, so now we're in our exit delay in progress. We'll typically program 60 seconds for you to, by the time that you push this button and get out the door, um, you got about 60 seconds to do so. Uh, so right now what happens is the alarm panel is uh, counting down uh, that full 60 seconds. Now what you're going to hear is it gets closer to the uh, uh, end of its counting, the uh, beeping sequence is going to increase. So uh, if we wait just a little bit here, we can start hearing that. Uh, and that lets us know that we only have a few, here we go, that lets us know that we only have a few seconds left before the system is going to be armed. So I'm going to disarm this real quick. Uh, and you can disarm it at any time during the uh, exit sequence uh, if you forgot your purse or your kids got to go to the bathroom or something else like that. Um, then that's not a problem. You can go ahead and do it. You arm and disarm the same way. You just type in your code. You don't have to hit anything else other than that. So we are going to uh, arm the system again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually exit through the front door, uh, pretending like I'm not home, and you can see what the alarm panel looks like uh, when uh, somebody would actually not be home in, a, in an actual um, uh, install. So I'm going to close that, say, okay, we've armed our system, we're going to leave for the day, uh, and then we're going to go through our front door. So now we've gone through our front door, uh, and then uh, normally we would be on our way, um, you know, driving away to wherever we're going to go. Uh, this time we're just in a different part of the office, but um, you get the general idea. So there's the butt, the uh, the rapid beeps, letting us know that it's almost ready to arm. Okay, now the system is armed. So right now, this is the way that your system would be uh, when you are not at home. So so it's ready to prevent any intruders from coming in. So let's say you're coming back now, uh, and you're going to come through the front door. 
uh, to disarm the system. Uh, our default is to give you about 30 seconds to do so. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, so it's going to let us know that we've got about 30 seconds to disarm the system. We type in our code uh, just like we did before, uh, and then the system is going back in a ready uh, disarm state. Uh, and then you can close that up and you're good to go. And that's all I wanted to show you for the video. It's basic arming and disarming of your alarm panel. Uh, this is Steve with Technospeak. And I uh, just want to say thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.